That's our new leaders right there. Big University of Montevallo, 24-96. National champions, Wallace State, Briar and Clinton. Welcome in to this episode of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. On today's show, we will provide an introduction to College Fishing's longest running national championship event, the Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops. This event is a week long celebration of collegiate bass fishing, culminating with the crowning of a national champion and the number one ranked team in the Bass Pro Shops School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. We're here at the 17th annual Boat US Collegiate Bass Championship and we're here on beautiful uh, uh, Pickwick here in Florence, Alabama, and we're here for Yamaha, and we're getting to engage with our, you know, our great college anglers. The first major event on the calendar for the week is the Yamaha Angler Appreciation Event. Taking place from 1 to 5 p.m. on Tuesday afternoon, anglers flock to McFarland Park for an afternoon full of games, prizes, pizza, and education. Every year we show up here and we call it Yamaha Tuesday and uh, you got the 400 plus anglers. Now we have a whole new setup which you can see behind me which is all of our activation. Uh, the anglers come in, we have tons of prizes and giveaways for them, everything from uh, oil change kits to caddies, everything. And uh, then we go ahead and we feed them pizza all afternoon from one to five. Hi, how are you? Good. Okay, we're gonna sign you in right here. I don't mind it. Huh? Oh, oh, slam dunk right there. No bounce at all. Showing up here, I got to sign up for PowerPay for this tournament, uh, as well as we got to answer some questions and learn about what the Yamahas have to offer. Um, some of that stuff I did not know, so that was pretty neat. Um, and then we also got to spin for a prize. Can't go wrong with a battery pack. Um, then we got our awesome Yamaha swag. Uh, and then they had a casting competition here, and I saw that frog, and it called my name, and we got we got it, and we won it. So it was a great event here, and we're looking forward to getting some food now. When they come through this time, compared to years in the past, as you can see behind me, we have a lot of information about our, our product, what it what it does, what it's capable of, what it means to them you know, for the 40% fuel efficiency and et cetera. I mean, we are creating products that benefit them when they're out on the water. So as they come through here today, we will educate them even more on new things that have happened to our product, the additional benefits that they will get when they're buying Yamaha product and when they're out there fishing and the reliability all the way around for them. Since day one, Yamaha has been a strong supporter of the Association of Collegiate Anglers through on-site activation like the Yamaha Angler Appreciation Event, to sending a service trailer to tournaments, as well as other promotions and contingency programs, Yamaha is dedicated to these young anglers and helping to grow the sport of competitive bass fishing for future generations. My favorite thing is being able to take an opportunity to go in and once I see a, a few more over there under the big tent, to go in and talk with them and find out who they are, where they're from. Um, you know, we, we've got some young ones that I have literally followed from when they were way back in college and now they're professionals out on the big circuit. And you know, what a joy to see them realize their dreams. And that's the reason we want to be here. That's the reason we want to talk to them. Yamaha is putting on a little event for us today, feeding all the anglers. Uh, they gave away some prizes and we really appreciate it. And there's a lot of college kids that showed up today just to show their appreciation for Yamaha and what they do for us. We got some prizes um, at the Yamaha booth and learned a lot about Yamaha. So it's been, it's been a really cool event. Um, appreciate them coming out and helping us. As anglers make their way through the Yamaha Angler Appreciation Event at McFarland Park, they will also have the opportunity to sign up for Yamaha PowerPay. So the Yamaha PowerPay program is, is for our Yamaha owners. If you, if you have a Yamaha engine five years or newer from 115 to 425 horsepower, uh, free to sign up, you send us a claim form, we get you paid. At this week's championship event, 
Yamaha PowerPay will be paying out the two highest finishing eligible teams in the overall tournament standings. The highest finishing team will be awarded $2,000 and the second highest finishing team will earn $1,000. The Yamaha PowerPay program, it's, it's all about supporting our college anglers and, and uh, taking care of our owners. You send us a claim form and we put money back in your pocket. Just to be a part of it, to show our commitment, you know, you've already heard about PowerPay where we sanction a whole bunch of tournaments for these guys and they don't have to win. Just the highest place finisher that's registered with our motor gets a check. So here we'll be giving away a couple, two, three thousand dollars for these anglers, which is just another way to say thank you for running our product. To fishermen and other liars, the time you spent on the docks, the banks, the boats, the lines you cast, and the hooks you set. These moments you share with the people you love, the fish you never forget, and the tales that get taller with every retelling. Make memories that'll last a lifetime with Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. When there's miles of water in front of you, and hundreds of feet below. You need a boat with the chops to dominate, no matter the conditions. With the strength and technology to overcome the elements and the competition. Ranger Boats, still building legends, one at a time. You have a full-time job and you want to be a full-time angler. Don't waste time scouting. You want to catch fish. That's where Garmin comes in. Our mapping with Navionics data lets you see more detail than the fish do. It's kind of a big deal. Oh, and our industry-leading live sonar is so crisp and clear, you'll think you jumped in. You're welcome. Now, if only we had a powerful, efficient, whisper-quiet trolling motor. Actually, we do. It's called Force. We knew you'd like that. Less time finding, more time catching fish. Only with Garmin. We're at uh, Pickwick Lake, uh, here for the Collegiate Bass Championship. Uh, we got some Spro stuff we're giving away. The next event on the schedule during Championship Week is the Angler and Sponsor Banquet on Wednesday night. Some of the top brands in the industry are on hand to meet with and provide these elite college anglers with quality products to use out on the water. I'm here uh, with Sunline America and we've got uh, uh, four big giant spools, uh, almost 10,000 yard spools of Sunline Sniper fluorocarbon, 16 pound and 20 pound. And we're letting all the anglers bring one reel in and they can all spool one reel with fresh line. We're giving you each one for each rod. We're giving the old rod to DNR for them to teach Ooh. kids how to fish at their Ooh. training classes. So. Awesome. Thank, yep. you. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Abu Garcia is also on hand promoting the Trade In and Trade Up program for anglers to receive a free Veritas casting rod. For each rod traded in exchange for a new one, Abu Garcia will then donate those rods to the Alabama DNR. Other great items being handed out include TH Marine G Juice, great swag from Bass Pro Shops, Power Pole, Spro, Bob's Machine Shop, Yamaha, and many more. The ACA tournaments, they, they cater toward the college angler. You guys do everything in your power for us. Um, you know, we feed us, we get free baits. All the sponsors are here. Um, and it's just a great all-around tournament. Traveling around the country is one of the biggest things for me. You go in all these different lakes and uh, all these different bodies of water, it really sets you up for the next step. You know, if you want to make it professionally, you're going to have to have experience on different bodies of water. So college fishing really sets that up for you. You see a bunch of guys along that have fished in college in the past and they've made it to the big ranks, so we kind of know anything's possible. And our gateway to fishing professionally is made possible through college fishing. You learn a lot along the way as well. For many anglers here this week, their goal is to make it to the next level and fish professionally. Sponsor and industry support at the collegiate ranks is paramount. Companies understand the value of these anglers and want to encourage them in their pursuit of making it to the next level. I think we can all take note of what's happened with, you know, from middle school to high school and now college stuff. Um, I myself went to Auburn, but we didn't have a fishing team at the time. So, you know, we always hear about the Lee brothers and how they came up through the collegiate ranks. And so Garmin has been paying attention to that from the beginning. I love covering these tournaments for PowerPole. This is my favorite thing to do. It's my favorite part about my job, being out here, meeting all the anglers, watching them grow from 
college age, even high schoolers, growing all the way up to the elites, the Bass Pro Tour, it's really awesome to watch. I think it's great to get into their minds while it's early. They still haven't made it to that pro level, but so many of them do, and they're going to remember the people that came and helped you out. Um, so we're, we're here to help you out and support the, the students and we're hoping that they do make it that next level of fishing and uh, remember you know all the brands that supported the collegiate anglers along the way. Special thanks to the anglers, sponsors, host side of Florence, Timmy Horton is the guest speaker, and everyone who helped make this night one of the best in all of collegiate bass fishing. ACA puts on a great tournament and we're happy to be here. Uh, Y'all take really good care of us as fishermen and put on a really really great tournament so yeah so far the everything's went super smooth the meeting and the, the prizes that's being donated by Abby Garcia and the programs that have been going along this has been one of the most top-notch rain events that I've ever been a part of for sure reliability Yamaha is known for it and it's something boaters value because these days few things are built to last when we find something that is, we hold on to friendships, traditions, outboards, because every second on the water is sacred. If you count on having this time, you need an outboard you can count on to power it. That's why boaters choose Yamaha for the long run, for life, because reliability starts here. Thought I had enough fuel, but I didn't. Now you go to start the engine and you get that click, click, click. When you're out on the water, you never know when you might encounter a breakdown or mechanical failure. But with a Boat US membership, worry no more. Membership provides you with on the water towing services, fuel delivery, and more. Anywhere, anytime that you need assistance. We're here to come to their rescue. Go online today to boatus.com to find out more information. Boat US, we're with you on the water. Understand the fish, design the bait. No, redesign it, trim this, add that. Definitely more of that. Perfect. Will they smash it? <laughs> Smashing it and holding it. That's how we do it. That's the formulas. Tweak the colors, make it sing, make it dance. Optimize design for that lateral line. All with a single track mind for getting hit, staying bit, ripping lips, for making any fish your fish. That's our science. Berkeley science, baby. Fish care and conservation are key elements to a successful bass fishing tournament operation. From angler initiatives out on the water during competition, to efforts made by the tournament organization back at weigh-in. Every effort counts when it comes to returning these fish back to the lake alive and well. Fish care is such an important part of bass fishing in a lot of tournaments, basically. Anglers don't want to be dealing with penalties, but they also want to protect the resource. When you look at anglers as a whole, it's really important to them to have a great time outdoors, see fish swim off so they can be caught time and time again. And so for those tournaments, the fish are being brought into the weigh-in. There's lots of things that can be done to help ensure that those fish are healthy, they're not deceased, they don't have delayed mortality, and TH Marine is at the forefront of a lot of those efforts. See how lively they are? What that G juice will do to them. G juice is just an absolute mandatory additive, in my opinion, for a, in a fishing tournament to be able to help protect these fish. You know, a half an ounce protects, or basically provides 30 gallons of coverage into your live well. It's going to do so many things. It's going to eliminate a lot of the bad things that are in the water at different times. It's going to help protect those fish and revitalize them. Uh, pretty much, it, it just helps to calm them down and keep them all right. It's a bumpy ride out here sometimes, and I just uh, pump some of the old water out, put some fresh water in, and put some juice back in there, and it should be good for a little while. Put it on reset so the juice will keep pumping through the system instead of uh, fresh water coming in. So this adds a lot back to the water that helps protect the fish when you're putting it in. And G-Juice is, you know, used by so many people in the tournament world to be able to help release fish. But you put that in, turn on your live wells to be able to recirculate everything, and the fish are just going to have a better chance to survive. It's going to replace slime clode. It's going to, you know, add electrolytes to them, removes ammonia, chlorine, uh, you know, contaminants from the water in so many different situations. It helps balance your uh, pH as well. It's, and it's non toxic for humans, but the main thing about it is you are, are really providing the, the fish a better chance to be able to survive. 
Now we're gonna show you the conservation coal weight. For a lot of you guys that are out fishing deep, this kind of helps keep the fish upright and, 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 and shallow as well. You just take this little weight and you're basically, it's a two ounce weight. It's gonna increase the chances of survival by stabilizing the fish without harming them. And uh, you know, you don't need several of these weights generally for what you're gonna do. This is just a simple clip right here that opens up and closes and you can see it real simple as it goes there and closes there. And in this situation, you're basically just going to clip this weight below like that. And that weight's gonna hold down. It's gonna help keep that fish in the facing the direction that you're wanting it to face while it's in the water. You know, it's real easy for us to, to be able to manage and do everything we're looking at. And that's what tournament anglers want to do. They want to be able to, you know, have a live well set up and all of their assets are going to help fish be released, whether it's culling them and balancing beam them, attaching uh, clips to the, to the fish to be able to not puncture them. That's what the new TH system has, or weights directly onto the fish. So when you look at the TH Marine tournament, initiative to be able to help delayed mortality and ensure that fish are brought back to the live well alive. They've got a lot of items to help us all. Wow, what do you got here? What's up? What's the pound? 23. Nice job, you leading? Yes, sir. boy. Good job. Along with the efforts and products from TH Marine, AFCO is also dedicated to conservation and helping to protect this precious resource here this week. The AFCO Bass Bus live release boat is on site and will be helping with tournament fish care initiatives during both days of the event. My job is to do everything I can to keep these fish alive. Conservation is important, and we want as many of these fish live released as we possibly can. After weighing in their fish on stage at the tournament trailer, anglers will then make their way down to the courtesy dock where the bass bus is set up. On the boat, the fish care team is filling the tanks full of G-juice, fizzing the fish that need to be tended to, and putting forth every effort to ensure these fish make it back out into Pickwick Lake alive and healthy. The ACA would like to extend a special thank you to AFCO for their efforts with the Bass Bus Live Release Boat during Championship Week. It's a rush. Thank you, fellas. Good job. Thank you. It's time now for our final break in this episode. On the other side, we take a look back at the season up to this point. Keep it tuned here for more coverage of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. I've been my living on the water for over 20 years. For 14 years. For over 23 years. I've worn a bunch of different clothing brands over the years. Some companies big. And some companies small. All of them said they were making clothing for us. But none of them knew us. None of them were us. Except for one. Except for one. Except one. AFCO. 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 Fishing isn't part of us. It is us. TH Marine has been producing top-of-the-line marine accessories to rig boats from transom to trolling motor for decades. From jack plates to fish care to LEDs, TH Marine has you covered. TH Marine, outfitting your boat from transom to trolling motor. Born in Japan, using technology, innovation, and precision, Sunline produces the widest selection of fishing lines at the most technologically advanced line factory in the world. Manufactured at the strictest tolerances to produce victories at the highest levels of tournament bass fishing. From household names like Christie, Swindle, and Cruz, to young guns like Cook, Logan, New, and Welcher, they all trust Sunline to take them to the top of the leaderboard. Choose the line that will give you the strength to guarantee your confidence. Sunline. Welcome back to coverage of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. The Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship, presented by Bass Pro Shops, is the culmination of a 12-month long season for college fishing's top anglers. We are now going to take a look back at this past season and the moments that have led up to this season-ending event. This tournament is huge for school of the year, and if we could pull off anything, anything like a win or even a decent finish here would mean a lot. The 2021-22 season for the Association of Collegiate Anglers started at Lake Dardanelle in Russellville, Arkansas. With over 400 anglers competing for more than $20,000, 
in prizes and contingencies, as well as double points to count towards the best pro shop school of the year presented by Abu Garcia. Thank you, Lord. Mmm. Stuff, Cody. Let's go, baby. Nice job. Yeah, baby. Boom. Good job, buddy. You hit kid to you, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Here's number one. Popped right out. Good job, bro. Keith Pinnell and Taylor Knowles weigh in over 14 pounds on day two for a two day total of 24.89 pounds. That total was good enough to hold off the elite field and claim first place honors. The duo from LSU edges out second place by just over one tenth of a pound. Robert G and Luke Byerly from the University of Tennessee end the weekend with the runner up finish. And Griffin Fernandez and Zach Manaback from top ranked Adrian College take third. Here is a look at the top 10 ranked teams in the nation following the first ACA event of the season. Adrian College maintains its lead with a season total of 7,285 points. McKendree University moves into second, closing the gap ever so slightly between them and top ranked Adrian College. And Auburn University drops back one spot to be ranked third. Following the AFCO Collegiate Bass Open, the next stop on the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series was the Barnett Reservoir Rumble in Ridgeland, Mississippi. Uh, we're currently in first, which we have a lot of people on our team. Some people are catching them, some people are not. I mean, that's just how it always goes, which hopefully if somebody doesn't catch them here, somebody else will keep them. They're good. The Barnett Reservoir Rumble is a two-day traditional five bass limit format event with the payout of over $20,000 in prizes and contingencies. Being the last regular season tournament before the year-end championship, points are at a premium this week. Get one. Ah, come come here. Yeah. There we go. Woo. Let's go. <laughs> it's gonna be new leaders of the tournament right here locks in at 1578 two-day total right here of 3015 take those out Merritt arnold and chance schwartz from top ranked university of montevallo weigh in a two-day total of just over 30 pounds to take home the victory their fellow teammates adam carroll and trey dickert finish in second, earning Montevallo the maximum number of School of the Year points a single team could earn at the event this week. With all of the regular season events in the books, here's a look at the current points breakdown in the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia entering championship week. The University of Montevallo is in first with 16,725 points. Auburn University trails just under 1,600 points behind in second, and two-time winner McKendree University is in third. School of the year means a lot to us, and uh, we were going to the same thing last year in the national championship, and we had a pretty good lead, and we thought we couldn't lose it, but we slipped up at the very end and almost ended up losing it, so we're not going to take anything for advantage or anything for granted, and we're going to go out there and we're going to fish. That's the main reason we're here. We would love to take home the you know, singles or individuals national title, but the main reason we're here is it's a team sport. Montevallo's got a good lead on us, um, but you know we're we're trying hard and we're you know we we fished hard all year. So hopefully, if we don't um, you know if we don't aren't able to make the win, coming in second would be huge for our team because I don't think we've ever come in second uh, in school of the year. So we're sitting in third for school of the year points this year, and we're probably going to need a win or two to climb back up the leaderboard a bit, and some real solid finishes to back that up as well. Definitely going to need two good finishes here to. Uh, catch up to some of those guys above us, but uh, I know we got some guys out here that can catch fish and I'm real confident that uh, we can put a few good bags together throughout the team over the next two days and try to make a run at it. That'll conclude this episode of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. 
On the next episode, we'll bring you day one coverage from Pickwick Lake in Florence, Alabama for the Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops. Thanks for watching. This has been a Careco TV production. This episode was made possible by these partners. Attention anglers, are you looking for soft tubes or craws? How about big jigs, little jigs, and shaky heads of all sorts and sizes? Do you want some sweet swim jigs that you can take all across the country? When's the last time you stocked up on frogs, wacky rigs, or big old lead shakers? Maybe you just need a few swim bait heads, finesse jigs, and some good old stupid tube jig heads. You'll find all that and more fishing gear when you go online and shop the entire selection of secret lures now. Hey, three key rods that played a great deal in my success this year on the Bass Pro Tour Trail was the seven foot four multi-spin spinning rod in our lithium series. Another rod that I used a lot this year was our seven foot two Covart heavy action rod. Last but not least is our lithium 884 in heavy action. So check them out. Denali rods, I think you'll be happy with the success you receive from them. We don't have a large laboratory to test baits. Why, you ask? We don't need a big laboratory because our pros fish, our employees fish, our owners fish, and our kids fish. This is our laboratory. Our R&D comes from time on the water. All that time on the water brings us thousands of hours of testing new products and improving current ones for all species. Big Bite Baits, designed to bring the big bite to your line. From sun up to sun down, day in and day out, we work hard, we play hard, and to keep us going during those long hours, we demand performance. Angle Coolers, the original high performance cooler. Fishing is all about connecting with nature. Then grabbing nature by the lip and holding it up for a picture.